The Random Jottings of Donald J. In Nelson in Bendel, Lancashire. The story of Kenneth Oldham is the story of a man who was passionate about the great outdoors and dedicated his life to sharing that passion with others, particularly young people. Born in Hyde, Greater Manchester in 1923, Kenneth was a truant as a child and preferred to spend his time walking the canals and hills near his home, collecting insects, and photographing steam drains. His father had to pay for an extra year's tuition to enable him to matriculate from Hyde Grammar School. After training as a bomber pilot and being posted to India during World War II, Kenneth returned to the UK to study teaching at Goldsmiths College, London. He began his teaching career at Hollingworth Secondary School, on the edge of what was to become Britain's first national park, the Peak District. It was from here that he began leading school children into the hills, introducing them to hill walking, wild flowers, insects, and birds. In 1956, Kenneth became the first head of White Camp School, a post he held until his retirement in 1983. White Camp was one of the first schools in Britain dedicated to showing children that outdoor recreation could be fun. Kenneth introduced thousands of state school children to outdoor education, and more than 50,000 children attended his courses over the years. Some observers credit him with Lancashire's preeminence in mountaineering in the post war period, and he assisted in the creation of the Mountain Leadership Certification. Kenneth was also an accomplished photographer and writer. His dissertation, on the life cycle of the great water beetle, Ditiscus, illustrated by his own microphotography, has become a standard work for entomologists. He wrote the first guidebook to the Pennine Way in 1960, five years before it was officially designated as Britain's first long-distance footpath. He also wrote five books on steam engines and walking. Kenneth's skills as a photographer and mountaineer won him a place as cameraman and photographer on the 1963 expedition to Ruwenzori, Uganda's Mountains of the Moon. He was unfazed when some of the ice axes got lost, fashioning his own from a camera tripod. His film of the expedition was later screened on BBC television, won an award at the Scottish Film Festival and was shown at Cannes. Kenneth's proudest achievement was passing on his love of the outdoors to school children, particularly those who had once been wayward pupils like himself. His outstanding contribution to outdoor education was recognized by his appointment as a government advisor, and he was made an Kenneth Oldham died on February 11, 2004, at the age of 80. He is survived by his wife and two sons, Sir John Oldham a family doctor and government advisor on primary health care, and Mark, a novelist and company secretary. Kenneth's legacy lives on in the countless young people he introduced to the joys of the great outdoors, and in the many books and films he left behind. By Donald J.